I moved from Yaki Street. I moved from Yaki Street. Even there, even there. Come here, try to be Tea Party now. In, in, in support of, of repealing Senate Bill 1070. So I have uh, Gustavo uh, Gonzalez, who was started off with the prayer. <laughs> we like to do the prayer uh, bilingual, please. Quisiéramos hacer la oración bilingüe, por favor. Le damos gracias a Dios Todopoderoso. We thank God for the most powerful God. Que hizo los cielos e hizo la tierra. He created the heavens and the earth. Y que da su sol, su sol y su lluvia a todos por igual. Follow the law and the rain to all for the same. El Dios que es un Dios de amor que cubre todo el mundo. The God that is the God of love that covers the whole world. El Dios que le gusta y ha buscado siempre el bienestar para todos. The God that likes to have always wanted the good being for everyone. Todos los colores y los idiomas. All colors and all languages. Como seres humanos, as humankind, hechura y semejanza de Dios, as, as, as people that have been created te damos by God. gracias, oh Dios, por tu amor. We thank you, oh God, for your love. Y por esta nación, and for this nation. y por este estado y nuestra ciudad de Phoenix. And for our state and our city of Phoenix. Te damos gracias por las autoridades we thank you for the authorities que están dentro de tu justicia that are under your justice para traer bienestar, to bring goodwill, paz, peace, a nuestro estado to our state y a nuestra nación. And our nation. Gracias, Padre. Thank you, Father. Ponemos esta reunión. We come to this reunion en tus manos, in your hands y que this todo reunion. Sea siempre paz y amor. and that everything will always be peace and love. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Real quickly, uh, for uh, the record, uh, I'm State Senator Steve Gallardo, uh, District 13, Southwest Phoenix. Uh, today we come together to announce that we have introduced uh, Senate Bill 1218. This, this bill will start to get against uh, you. the discussion and the debate on the issue of Senate Bill 1070 passed a couple years ago. This ten, Senate Bill 1070, a type of legislation we need here in the state of Arizona. You look over the last, you look over the last couple of years, the impact Senate Bill 1070 has had on the state of Arizona. The negative yeah, right image the that has brought to the state it's of Arizona. Big impact. The, the, actual, the actual division that has come down here to the state capital, it has polarized the state Mexican of Arizona. Americans want to get rid it of has done nothing, It has done nothing to solve any of our immigration issues here in the state of Arizona. Not illegal the immigration. Is, we stop illegal immigration. immigration. Remains a federal Not immigration. Issue, and we must illegal continue immigration. to put pressure on the federal government to do something in terms of immigration. We but are against not illegal an immigration. That the Arizona State Legislature. Illegal immigration. Because not immigration. Senate Bill 1070. You're welcome here as long as you come in legally. It has hurt our economy. It has, it has, it has called a national boycott on the state of Arizona. You people are equipped. It has hurt our tourism. Being parasites are for illegal. That's what you're trying to do. Because you're parasites. It is time now to repeal Senate Bill 1070. We call on the, on the Senate Chairman. To hear Senate Bill 1070. You're Give a hearing. That's why you're the even after illegal. Mayor Wilcox and you. This, this, is, this is what Senate Bill 1070 Mayor has Mayor Wilcox and you are against Senate Bill 1070 it because you got used to your illegal. It continues to draw, divide the state. It is time for us you're to repeal Senate Bill 1070 and yeah, focus on the priorities of Arizona. Immigration continues to be a federal issue, and we must work with Congress to fix our immigration. You're a liar! Our next, our next speaker is a federal issue.
Everybody go after Mary Rose Wilcox. Tea Party's going to go after Mary Rose Wilcox. We're going to go after Mary Rose Wilcox and every communist in the state of Arizona. Last week, I was in Alabama. Sorry about that. We got Mary Rose on our sites. We are questioning on Arizona her. Mary Rose will get to go. Economic recovery, but we got Mary Rose, and she's going to throw the cows out there. Because of our damaged reputation. Before our hateful, divisive, go-it-alone immigration laws, Arizona was known for a growing economic um, economy, quality education, and well-trained workforce. Today, our international and national image draws comparisons to Mississippi, to Alabama, and to Georgia. Senate Bill 1070 is destined to be repealed, but the only question is how long you're not Democrat or communist to recover. My mother's a Democrat, you're taking tired of you today. Not one my mother's a 91 year old Democrat. It's time to stand by our st senator, Steve Gallardo. And All my family is Democrats, they're not communists like you guys. <laughs> When you come out and say you're, you're, you're socialist, don't be ashamed of what you are, we're not. Cientos de pastores en todo el estado, hundreds of pastors in our state. Estamos siempre orando por la prosperidad de este estado y de esta ciudad. We are always praying for the prosperity of our state. Aquí están mamando. Creemos que la SB17. Aquí están mamando en lo que están haciendo. Perjudica directamente. That puts them. It is a bad influence directly to the state of Arizona. Seguimos orando. We continue to pray. Por el bienestar del condado Maricopa. That's what they're doing. They're sucking our kids dry. Que no se puede más el derecho al ser humano. Seguimos orando también por la unidad a la familia. We continue to pray for the rights of the family. Seguimos orando también por la unidad de los niños y de los jóvenes. We also pray for the education of the people and our children. Que son el presente y el futuro de esta nación. They have the right to be educated, go to school, and go to university. For the well-being of this nation. And for the future of this nation. 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 For the future of this Queremos que todo ser humano we want all human race. pueda gozar de la paz, 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 de la this is the parasite. This city is just like Mary Lou. It's a beautiful city. Mary Lou Wilcox. And Steve Gallardo. We know this city. This city is going to be known in all the world. As a prosperous state. As a state of peace. In all the world. As a state of peace. As a prosperous state. As a state of peace. As a state of peace. As a state of peace. As a house. La casa de Dios. The house of God. Arizona. Arizona. Es la casa de Dios. It's the house of God. Porque aquí hay un pueblo. There is people here. Que ama a Dios. That loves God. Y que vela por el bienestar de este estado y de esta nación. Looking out for the best of the state. Thank you very much. In my body, peace and love to Arizona, and peace and love for the families in Arizona, and peace and love to everybody that's here. My message today. Is, Arizona wants us to lead, lead into economic recovery for the families, lead into education so that their children can achieve success here in Arizona, and they want us to lead into health needs for our families here in Arizona. That's, that's what Arizona wants us to do, is lead. When we detract, when we deter from that discussion, as Tim certainly does, 
Like we, are, we are not helping our job. We are not Stop doing our job. Yeah. You're the one that stopped the hate. I haven't You're the one that I would what think that we would want to lead into economic recovery by building bridges. No, I didn't say that. The biggest economic engine that we have, and that's south of Mexico, Arizona, our good neighbor down in Mexico. $7.2 million is spent here every day according to the Commerce Authority. Every day by Mexican nationals and businesses. That is what we should be drawing for, forward. We should be drawing Latin America and Central American countries, bringing into the United States jobs and business for Arizona families and small businesses here. That's what we should be discussing today. Not, not immigration, which will only be solved at the federal level. Everybody knows that. So I'm asking Arizona, I'm asking the leaders here at the Capitol to lead, not distract, to improve, not, not, not uh, take away the quality of life from families here in Arizona. So God bless Arizona. God bless the families in here, and God bless the people that want to lead Arizona into a better future. Thank you. Hi, my name is uh, Juan uh, Martin Morala. Um, unfortunately, we're here to talk about uh, the death of my uncle, Juan Daniel Morala. Um, we're here to talk about a step in the right direction, about removal of a bill that has uh, caused hate, has separated a state, and has caused the untimely death of my uncle. When we get to a point where we have chosen legislation, over human rights, we have a problem. When our thoughts of equality have isolated a specific race, then we have a problem. When we look at the color and nationality of an individual and not the contribution to mankind, then we have a problem. Instead of taking steps towards reversing racism and hate, we've encouraged reverse genocide, which has caused the death of my uncle, Juan Daniel Varela. When we look at a person and, and judge them based upon their ancestors and their background, not based upon their, their character and the, their quality to life, then we have a problem. My uncle's death was at, at, as a result of an Anglo individual who became angry at SB 1070. He became angry at the state. He became angry at the Hispanic community. And he went and he killed my uncle. On a day just like today, my uncle was out watering his, his plants. He was just living his life. And in his front yard, he was taken one week after the creation of SB 1070. How do, you, uh, how do you console uh, a fatherless teenager? You know, how do you tell a widow that she has hope and that she has a future? And how do you explain Arizona creating a law that has caused the death of one of its volunteers? Well, my, my uncle volunteered for years. For over 25 years, he volunteered in baseball and in football and in basketball, coaching kids and encouraging them to, to live a good life, to stay out of the streets. I'm a fourth generation American. My family has been here for generations. In fact, we have been citizens longer than the statehood of Arizona. We're older than the statehood of Arizona. But because of the creation, but because of the creation of SB 1070, we have divided the state. You know, instead of focusing on economic opportunities and solar power and agriculture, we've looked at race and a person's background and their upbringing. And based upon their appearance, we want to judge them. But I'm calling us to unite as a people where we can be neighbors, where we can be buddies, where we can be friends, where we can come together and have picnics and barbecues and, and love one another, where we can reverse the emotions of hate and anger and have uh, actions of help and love where we can help one another and back one another up, where we can live in harmony, where we can find common ground, and where we can accept each other's difference, where we would celebrate differences and not reject them, not rebuke a person and not push them away just because they look different in appearance than us, but look at them and see what type of character that they have, what type of person that they have, how they raise their children and how they live. I call for us to believe in faith, hope, and love to have a faith in one another and a trust in one another, to have a hope that desires to change in spite of differences, and also to have a love for your neighbor and to welcome diversity. The repeal of SB 1070 is a step in the right direction for our state. It's an initial step for equality and justice for all. It's also a, a, a step for mankind, a small step for man, 
but a large step for mankind. So today I challenge you, Arizona, to take a step in the right direction, to reverse a wrong and repeal SB 1070, to reverse discrimination, to reverse injustice, and welcome justice. Again, take a step towards equality, take a step towards parity, and take a step towards repealing SB 1070. Thank you. I want to thank everyone for being here today. I'm State Representative Daniel Patterson from Tucson and Pima County, and I want to bring some perspective from a border county up here to the state capital of Phoenix. This law has probably done more to harm Arizona and our reputation both across the country and internationally than anything else I've seen here at the Capitol. And it is time to really do the right thing and focus on solutions that are going to work and not this type of divisive law that only demonizes citizens, divides our communities, and creates problems for our state's economy. And that's all that SB 1070 really has done. In our district, at least in my district in Tucson, the law enforcement officials I deal with want to be out solving real crime. They want to be getting after people that are a threat to society, violent criminals. There is no desire that I've heard from law enforcement in the southern part of the state to be trying to enforce immigration law. That is clearly the job of the federal government. It's a place where we continue to see the need of the feds in Washington do their job and pass holistic immigration reform so that we have a secure border but that people can also move back and forth. Families are on both sides of the border, our economies are integrated, and it's time to recognize that people have a right to interact with their families on both sides of the border. You're a citizen, we you need got a, right. a healthy economy with states like Sonora, and we need to be focused here at the Capitol on what matters. That's creating jobs, that's trying to help stimulate the economy, that's helping to repair public education that has been decimated, right. and really try to help turn the state around <laughs> The legislature here has been hijacked by special interests and Tea Party extremists. And that's something we have got to change. That's something we have got to change. So, I support, I'm, I'm proud to stand up here today on behalf of my constituents in Tucson and support a full repeal of SB 1070. It's certainly not popular with the folks that actually live close to the border, with the people that have felt the effects. And let's recognize that a mistake was made here at the Capitol, and now it's time to change it. And with your support, we'll do it. We may not do it this year, but this law will fall. If you would, Repeat the Pledge of Allegiance with me. I pledge allegiance unto the flag for which it stands of America, for which is the republic, for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. May we pray. God of justice, God who has liberated your people who have been oppressed and discriminated against from time immemorial, God who gave us the modern day prophet Martin Luther King Jr. whose birth we celebrated last Monday. God who in your Bible, in your word, talk about be kind to the immigrants, be kind to the aliens. We know whose side you are on. And so we come today thanking you for being a God of justice. We thank you for being a God who sides with those who are downtrodden, those who are disadvantaged. We thank you for calling us to lift up right relationships with you, with ourselves and others. And so God, we are praying today that you will enable our senators and our representatives who will be co-sponsoring this bill to, reveal, to repeal Senate Bill 1070. We pray God that you would give them courage, you would give them strength, you would give them wisdom, you would give them discernment, and you will give them allies, even of those who formerly have opposed uh, the repeal of 1070.
God, this is a justice matter for which we've come since SB 1070 began. People have been the subjects of injustice economically, educationally, environmentally, as it relates to enriching their families and also with immigration. And so, God, we ask that you would intervene on our behalf. Thank you for the senator who's leading this fight. Thank you for the men and women, boys and girls, who will be better. Thank you for the pastors who have gathered here today, the people from all walks of life, all colors, who stand and say we will keep standing until what the prophet, prophet Amos said, and let justice roll down like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. We pray this in the mighty name of the God of justice and all the people said together, Amen. Amen. Good morning, and we're sorry we're late from Tucson, Arizona. We come here to join our very courageous legislators that are taking this head on to repeal 1070 to begin again from Arizona. Not that we be replicated with over 1,600 anti-immigrant bills filed in 2011 across the legislatures in this country, all as a result of SB 1070 here in Phoenix, Arizona. We are here today to say it will be repealed. It will be repealed. We will not allow this to go on. Our communities cannot be the subject of attacks of the right wing, of the police state, of the Border Patrol, of our federal policies, and of our legislators that continue the attacks on working uh, and uh, people and their families. We're here to say real security is not these measures that they call border security. Real security means having food to feed your child, having medical services, having education. How about that one? Education. That's under attack. How about labor? labor attacks, the collective bargaining has been attacked is almost unbelievable. And collective bargaining rights, believe me, have been attacked because we have allowed the attacks on immigrants. If we had not allowed the attacks on immigrants, we would not be say, seeing the attacks on labor unions, on our public education, on health care. Imagine we have nominees talking bad about us that we receive food stamps. We are under attack, and it's because it starts with bills like 1070. And we're here to say, in Arizona, in southern Arizona, we are here with you in your righteous fights here in Phoenix against Arpaio, against Pierce. That was a great one, against Pierce and against the rest of these individuals. So thank you very much for doing this, Senadores. All right, we'll open up to any questions. Steve, uh, is this largely symbolic? Because you know the Republicans are not going to let you get anywhere with this, right? So. You know, and, 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 and that's a valid, a valid question. The, the, the fact is that we have to, as legislators, start talking about the effects of Senate Bill 1070. It took Russell Pierce three years to get Senate Bill 1070 passed. It may take us three years to get it repealed, but we need to start talking about the impact Senate Bill 1070 has had on the we, we need that discussion. I have, I have 20, 24 legislators that have signed on to this bill to say it is time to remove Senate Bill 1070. Let's start the discussion. You know, it, it is it is all Democrats. Unfortunately, I have I, I did have uh, a few meetings with some of my colleagues on the other side of the aisle. Uh, privately, they'll tell you, Steve, will he agree? Senate Bill 1070 has had a terrible impact on the state of Arizona. It was a big mistake. Uh, unfortunately, they just don't have the political courage to put their name on on, on the actual bill. But we're going to continue this dialogue here at the Capitol. We're going to force the members of the legislature to talk about the negative impact Senate Bill 1070 has had. This negative image and the impact it has had on our economy. We want to repeal what was wrong and do, do what's right for the people of Arizona. Let's get rid of Senate Bill 1070. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Queremos anunciar hoy en la tarde a las 3 de la tarde. Tenemos una vigilia de oración aquí en el Capitolio. Se está poniendo ya el stage. The stage is already being set up. Eh, vamos a estar orando por la paz de esta nación, nation, por la paz de nuestro estado, state, por el bienestar well de toda la comunidad, de toda persona que vive en Estados Unidos. Les pedimos you, que se unan a nosotros. Esta tarde estaremos orando juntos al Dios de toda la gloria to glory, para que la injusticia se termine en este estado. So to an end in our state. Y venga prosperidad y bienestar para todos. And prosperity and well-being will come for all. Y Dios seguirá bendiciendo este estado y esta ciudad. God will continue to bless this state and this city. Y a todo ser humano que vive en esta ciudad. And for all humankind that lives no, no, in no, this city. Los invitamos a todos. We invite you all. De las 3 a las 10. From 3 to 10. Estaremos orando we shall be praying ante la presencia de Dios. Before the presence of God. Gracias. Thank you. Yeah! What happened to Mary Rose Wilcock? What happened to Mary Rose Wilcock?